Last weekend I went fishing. It was a grinding all afternoon until I switched to Senko. Then I started to connect. So in the end, it's the basic that worked. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design the mold for the stick bait using Fusion 360. Stay tuned. First, I draw the outline, which is the half of the cross section of the stick bait. I draw the center line, which is about 12 centimeters, about 7 inches. And then I draw an offset line to indicate the top of the profile. Then I move on to the head and the tail, the tapered down part of the bait. Uh, I use the spline tool here and also the tension tool to make sure the, the spline and the flat portion is smooth. Then I move on to the other end use the spline as well and also the tension tool and in the end I close this profile as you can see once I close it the area turns into light blue you can also modify the shape by moving the control points even after you close the loop Next, I create the segment. I draw a circle and then duplicate that along the profile on both sides. I couldn't find a way to duplicate the circle along the path in Fusion 360. So what I did here was to make the circle into a body first and then I can duplicate the body along the path after that, I will have a series of circles that I can use to revolve into the stick bait surface. Here we want to make sure each little circles are touching each other. There's no gap in between. and now join them into one single piece. Now use the revolve feature to create the segments around the center axis. Now we can hide those little cylinders. Here we are making this flat section called clatellum. So draw a line and then make it tangent to the circle. And here we have to remove the constraint, the horizontal constraint, so we can make another tangent on the other side. Now split the line at the tangent points and trim off the additional parts. Next, we will have to make a close profile. So we can use that to revolve about the center axis. It doesn't have to be a perfect rectangular shape. Just need to have something closed. Now revolve and join into the bait body. Here you have it, the cigar, no, I mean, stick bait. Draw the outline of the bait box. Here I create some offsets plans so I can draw the circles 
for extruding the sprue. Here you see I make this part of the sprue thicker, almost like a well, because when the plaster saw cools down, it will draw the materials from the sprue. If there's not enough material in the sprue, then when it cools down, it will shrink too much and uh, leave some dents, usually close to the top. Usually I will put the guide pillars and holes inside the mold box since this mold is so skinny so I put them on the edge. Here I purposely make them symmetrical so if one side is the pillar the other side will be the hole. By doing this uh, I just need to design one mold because the top and the bottom will be identical. Add chamfers to take out the sharp edges on the pillars. And later I make some improvements with three pillars. I think that will lock the molds better. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace! Yeah.